Hello guys, Jamie here, back for the third part of our beginners game maker tutorials and today we're doing goals and getting from one room to the other from getting these goals, we're kind of giving our game some purpose, you know so I've taken the liberty of making a goal sprite and an object sprite if you had to play about with some of the sprite options you'll realise, you know, there's glow and everything I did have a little bit of glow here as you can see, just, just about um, and you can see that it's actually 23 by 23 um, but we've centered it because it's smaller than 32 by 32 so press OK and we've just made the object for it OBJ goal, we haven't done anything in here yet so basically this is what we're going to be you know, sort of working on today you can make your goal look like whatever you want so we don't want to take solid because you know it doesn't really need to be solid because we don't want to collide with it we just want it to you know, disappear when you touch it and then go to the next room so all we need to do, we don't even need to program this at all, we just need it to exist. Now we can do the program either in obj goal or obj character. Now because everything's already in object character, we can you know keep everything neat and tidy by putting it in here as well. So we want to collide with object goal, because that's what we want to happen, you know, when you collide with it, this is when it's going to happen. So we're going to actually move into different tabs now, and we're going to look at tab main one, the very first one and we've got at the you know we've got change sprite rescale sprite but the ones we'll be using today is destroy instance which is basically destroy object because an instance is basically just an object a thing and then rooms um we're going to use next room that's the only one we're going to use and we're going to use it right here so when we collide with object goal guess what we're going to go to the next room and you know you can make a little transition effect here we're going to do rotate right just because it looks pretty sick. Now, if we just go and run this and, you know, get a room, add a goal in. Now, because it's centered, you realize these ones are all in the middle of the things, of the sort of grid. But this one is right in the middle of them. And that's what centering does. It's all about where you want them to be positioned on the map. And um, so you just put that there, press OK. Now we're going to make, we're going to have to make a new room. And just duplicate that one and you know make it different just so you can tell that you've gone to the next room we'll just do that like so come in here you know we can make this test too like that now if we run this game it's the good old fraps so you know we can move now and when we collide with this boom off we go to the next level so, you know, that was just a transition, that thing coming out the middle. We can do that, you know, a couple of times. You know, you've got different ones you can do. Now, here's something quite interesting. If we try and do it and there's no rooms left to do it to, it's going to give us an error message. And that's the error message. Now, you're going to need to learn to read these because these are going to be very important, telling you where you went wrong. So, fatal error in action number one of collision event with object OBJ goal for object character, moving to the next room after the last room. So it's just saying, you know, it's impossible to move to the next room if you're on the last room. Boy, don't you know that? So, um, that, we're not going to bother fixing that this episode because you don't need that because all you can do is in your last room just don't have a goal. Pretty obvious, you know, just remove it. There you go. Not that hard. Um, but, you know, you can make different things later on. But the final thing we're going to do is, I'm actually going to run this again just to show you. We're going to go into this goal, and as you can see, it stays there. Did you see that, guys? If you didn't, go back and look at the video, because I'm not doing it again. It basically still exists. It stays there while it goes to the next one. But we want it to disappear when you hit it. So we're going to use destroy instance. Um, we're not going to use destroy at position. It's got to be destroy instance. And we're going to drag that in. Now, you know, there's no thingies here, there's nothing to edit. But, you know, you might be thinking, wait a minute, we're about to destroy the character, because that's what it's in. But, no, because you've got this box here which says applies to, we can do other or object, and object's what we want to do, and default itself. So it would destroy the character. But we want it to destroy object goal. So we press OK. Now we run this. Um. As you can see, the moment we touch the goal, it doesn't disappear. And that is because of the transition that we have. 
<laughs> well, I just messed that up. Wow. Um, destroy the instant subject. Oh, that should be good. Oh, that I see. Now, guys, you need to listen here. You need to focus because I just did something wrong. And because I know what I'm doing, you know, you sort of find them. But this is going to be important because you guys are going to need to understand this. When you go on to them, when you go into this, it's going to do these in order. And because we said go to the next room, then destroy the in instance, it waits till it's in the next room before it destroys it. So if we get these, make sure destroy the instance is on top. If we do this now, um, go and collide with it now. You saw it disappeared there. So... A lot of this is about finding things and going back and looking through everything and thinking, oh, where did I go wrong? What have I done? But you know, it all comes with it. So that was the, that was that Game Maker tutorial.